So, Techno Parrot subscriptions, what the f is up with them? I'm technically not a technician, and in today's video, we're going to register a free Techno Parrot account so we can submit scores. We'll look at the banner pass for Mario Kart, and then we'll pick up a subscription so we can check out some of the locked games. However, before we do, here are a few words from our legal department. This video is for educational purposes only and is only intended to show you what I've done and what my results are. If you choose to modify your systems using this or any other information I've provided from any video or content I've created, you do so at your own risk. I, this channel, or any person connected to this video will not be held liable for any choices you make with your hardware or software. Modify at your own risk. I'd like to remind you that this channel does not support software piracy and this video does assume that you've installed Techno Parrot and its needed dependencies. If you haven't, don't worry. I've made a step-by-step -step video on that topic and I'll link to it in the description and above. With that out of the way, we'll want to first register a free account at technoparrot.com. This account will not let you play subscription games but it does let you save in-game content for several arcades and it gives you the ability to submit your high scores on games you're enjoying. For those of you interested in a Techno Parrot subscription, it is recommended that you first register for a free account. However, I'm unsure if it is required or simply recommended. After setting up your credentials, you'll get a registration confirmation notification telling you that you'll need to check your email and confirm that it is real. Next, open your email and find the message from Techno Parrot requesting confirmation of your account. When we open the email, we get a message letting us know that if we did indeed sign up for a Techno Parrot account, we'll need to click the provided link to confirm our email. After confirming our email, we'll be sent back to Techno Parrot, where we'll log in for the first time and see the home page. The home screen has a plethora of information. However, we can disregard most of it. We only need to locate an area at the top titled Online Profiles. When you've found it, click on its corresponding link. Upon successful login, a menu showcasing all our available online services appears. Here we can click on any of the corresponding game service icons and will be presented with the corresponding credentials. These credentials are needed to save in-game progress and online high scores. We simply need to click on a game service icon, copy the credentials and add them to Techno Parrot. As you can see, we'll have access to our in-game features after we've added its corresponding in-game service credential. Next, I'd like us to click on the hamburger menu at the top right. When we do, we'll get a list of options and if we pick the settings option, we'll see a list of settings we can change. At the top right of this list is an area called Score Submission ID and populating this field with the correct data will let you submit your high scores to the community. You can find the correct data by logging into the free Techno Parrot account we've just set up. You'll see several tabs at the top with one labeled High Scores. You'll find scores submitted by other community members from games they've played on Techno Parrot. If we go to the Online Profiles tab and scroll to the bottom, we'll find the profile that holds our credentials for our score submission ID. When we select that profile, a new page comes up and we're given our credentials in the form of a serial number that we'll need to copy. After we copy our credentials, we'll need to open TechnoParrot again, navigate back to the Settings menu and find the Score Submission ID area. Here we'll paste our credentials into the appropriate fields and when done, click on the Save option at the bottom. Once done, your score will be automatically submitted to the community. Let's head back to the Techno Parrot website and let's click on the Subscription tab. When we do, a new page presents itself with a link in blue that says Become a Subscriber. Let's click on that link. After we click our link, We'll be redirected to the webpage technoparrot.shop and we'll be presented with a ton of subscription options. 
Our first option is the Techno Sergeant. This option comes with one subscription serial key and you can choose to pay monthly or pay yearly and receive a 10% discount for doing so. Every option following the Techno Sergeant includes extra keys for use on different builds. You can choose to have monthly billing for each of these options or opt for a full year to enjoy even greater savings. I'd recommend using the same email address you used to register your account for your subscription. More importantly, your Techno Parrot account will not store your subscription serial. We will receive our serial via the email we've provided and we will be responsible for keeping it safe ourselves. Regardless, once you've made your selection and you're ready to move forward, simply click on the checkout at the bottom right of the screen. Now that we've made our selection, it's time to pay for our Techno Parrot subscription. Again, I do recommend using the same email for your subscription that you used for registering your account. This transaction is much like any other online purchase. It will require a method of payment from you. I'll be using my personal credit card and I'll enter the required information like any other online transaction. The transaction will require the card information as well as personal billing information listed on your method of payment. Because of the nature of this exchange, I'm unable to visually show you all of the details. But I can assure you that the required information is very standard and there isn't much to report. Your order will process once you check out and a message confirming its success will appear once done. I completed this process in about 14 seconds with ease. I had no issues and found the process to be very similar to other online markets. Let's now transition to our email and when we do, we'll find that Techno Parrot has sent us four emails regarding our new subscription. The first is an order confirmation the second is an email letting us know that our subscription has been accepted. The third lets us know that a key has been generated for our order. And the fourth and most important email is our subscription serial itself. You should store this serial number in a safe place. The email containing the subscription serial number is very basic. With a simple, thank you for subscribing, they also let you know that your subscription helps support the project they give you the serial and they let you know when it will expire. From here, we'll just need to copy the key and paste it into the corresponding area in the Techno Parrot program. Congrats, we now have an active subscribed account. We can take full advantage of the Techno Parrot platform and we can now add subscription games to our Techno Parrot build. Before we do, I would like to point out that each game is different. Some games will require additional steps. And please keep in mind that subscription games are the newest addition to Techno Parrot and may require patches, DLL files, or additional supporting resources. Despite this, Techno Parrot sets up most games similarly. First, we'll need to extract the ROM data from the compressed ROM file. For this example, I'll be working with the Ghostbusters Arcade and as you can see, the file in question is in a CHUD format. If you need help with extracting this formatted file, I do have a full DIY video and I will link it below. However, the short version is we will convert the CHUD file into a format that can be mounted by the PC. After it's mounted, I'll access the compressed files inside the archive and I'll extract everything into a folder. When done, I'll move the folder into my ROMs folder in the root of my Techno Parrot build, and then it will be time to add this new game. From here, we'll do as we have in my past videos and access the Add Game menu, locate the correct game, and tell Techno Parrot to add this to our games list. Once that is done, we'll access the game settings and set all of the needed general game settings options, and then we'll move over to the controller setup. This is a light gun game, and I do prefer to use my Sindon, but for this video, we'll set it up with my standard 8-bit controller. We'll also be setting this controller up as we have in past videos, so there isn't anything new here. 
Once we're done, we'll launch the game to check if the first subscription game we've added is bootable, or if we encounter an error message instructing us to go suck an egg. As you can see, our subscription is active and functioning without us having to suck an egg. Having said that, I was eager to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 2021, a game developed by Raw Thrills. However, the setup process for TMNT required a significantly higher number of steps compared to other games, which led to an unsatisfactory example regarding setting up subscription games. The setup of this game is similar to Ghostbusters, but TMNT requires a few additional DLL files. The first is a Unity DLL, which is easily accessible and necessary for the game to start. The other is an Orin Video DLL from a proprietary video player. Finding this one is more challenging. It's not required, but you may experience video errors during playback without it. The last one is available at TechnoParrot. It's the TMNTTP plugin, a DLL exclusive to TechnoParrot, available on the TechnoParrot Discord server. My understanding is it has many built-in fixes and it is available by joining the TechnoParrot Discord server and searching the group. You'll also need to install a program called Bepin EX. The Discord server has a PDF of this program that shows what you need and how to install it. Again, you should be able to find that guide by joining the Discord server and having a look around. In conclusion, I've got to say that signing up for TechnoParrot is effortless, takes very little time, and does let me play the newest titles on the platform. If you're like me and you enjoy the newest games, then a subscription is probably for you. You do need to keep in mind that these will be the newest titles, and some games will require a few extra steps, but there is a wonderful community behind this project with a ton of very helpful people. The subscription offers a wide range of options, catering to different needs and preferences. You can get a serial number or two, pay for a year and get a discount, or just try it for a month, which gives us flexibility. Also, keep in mind that registering your build so you can take advantage of the online services is 100% free. You get to submit high scores and even save in-game content from some of the cabs that support those options. In short, I'm thoroughly enjoying my Techno Parrot subscription so far, and I think it's something I'll be holding on to. If you've made it this far, I'd like to thank you. It means a lot to me that you've taken the time to check out this video and help this channel grow. Before moving on to the next video, I kindly ask you to do the following. Hit the like button, share this video with a friend or on social media, leave a comment below, activate the notification bell, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. While these actions may seem insignificant to you, they hold immense significance for this small channel and really help us grow. Furthermore, if you're looking to learn more about TechnoParrot and arcades, please check out one of these next videos. But most importantly, thank you for your time today, and I hope this video was informative.